electric field intensity at the equatorial line of an electric dipole. For that, let's draw an electric dipole minus Q charge plus Q charge separated by a small distance of let's say 2a and we are considering a point on the equatorial line of the dipole equatorial line is the line which is drawn perpendicular to the axis of the dipole through the center of it the line which is drawn perpendicular to the axis through the center therefore this line is our equatorial line and we are considering a point P on the equatorial line of the dipole let me mark this point as P and we already know this distance is 2a the distance from the point P to the center of the dipole I am marking this distance as x x is the distance from the point P to the center of the dipole then next let me draw a line like this if this distance is 2a what will be this distance it will be a this distance is x therefore we could write this distance as by Pythagoras theorem it should be root of a square plus x square instead of writing root of a square plus x square let me write x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 this distance is our x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 then we could say this distance should be also x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 since this side is x and this side is a then let me write a over here also then let me mark this point as a and this point as b initially we are going to draw the direction of electric field intensity due to this minus q charge at this point p if i am placing a unit positive charge over here this minus q charge will x give a force of attraction that means this is the direction of electric field intensity due to the minus q charge and i am writing it as ea ea then if we are marking the direction of electric field intensity at this point due to plus q charge that is near the point b if we are placing a unit positive charge over here this plus q charge will repel therefore this should be the direction of electric field in its q charge and let's call it as eb e then actually the total electric field intensity it should be vector sum of ea plus vector sum of eb but in this case we cannot do the algebraic method since ea and eb are in two different direction we will have to resolve it for that before resolving it let me say the angle between axis and the line from one charge to the point p it is theta theta is the angle between this line and this line therefore we could say this angle will be also theta theta then if we are resolving this ea into two components one vertical component 
and one horizontal component we could resolve this a into two components like this then we already know in parallel lines if there is a line cutting like this these two angles are same in that concept if this angle is theta we could clearly see this angle is theta if this angle is theta and this is ea we could write this as ea cos theta and this should be then ea sin theta this is ea cos theta and this is ea sin theta in the similar manner we could resolve this eb also the vector eb it could be resolved into two components one component like this and one component like this it is also resolved into its corresponding vertical component and horizontal component in parallel lines these two angles are same therefore if this angle is theta means i could clearly say this angle is theta and if this angle is theta and this is eb means we could say this is eb cos theta and this is eb sin theta thus we have resolved the vector ea and vector eb into its corresponding sin theta cos theta components therefore i am writing this equation that is e can be rewritten as ea sin theta plus ea cos theta plus eb can be written as eb sin theta plus eb cos theta from this diagram it is clear that eb sin theta and ea sin theta are in the opposite direction and they will cancel each other therefore we could cancel this ea sin theta and eb sin theta and from this diagram it's also clear that ea cos theta and eb cos theta are equal in magnitude and same direction therefore instead of writing ea cos theta plus eb cos theta i'll write 2 ea cos theta these two are same quantities therefore i am writing twice of any one of that like this and from this from your figure can you determine the value of cos theta for finding out the value of cos theta you just concentrate on this right angle triangle can you see a right angle triangle like this this side length is a this side length is x and this side length is x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 therefore cos theta will be adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side is a and hypotenuse is x square plus a square whole to the power 1 by 2 cos theta thus we have determined the value of cos theta then let's write the general expression for electric field intensity what is the general expression for electric field intensity it was 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square and in this case instead of this r square r square was the distance from the charge to the point where the electric field intensity is to be measured in this diagram the distance from the charge to the point where electric field intensity is to be measured is x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 and this distance is also r and that distance is also x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 therefore from figure it is clear that instead of r we have to use x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 then what should be r square r square should be x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 square means it will become like this clear then ea it can be written as it should be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by 
R square can be replaced as X square plus A square. Substituting this cos theta and Ea, we will get this equation as net electric field in density is equal to 2 into Ea 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by X square plus A square into cos theta A by x square plus a square whole raised to 1 by 2 then on rearranging i'll take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 to the front then the remaining is 2 a q since we know p is equal to 2 a q instead of this 2 a q we could write p by what is x square plus a square into x square plus a square all raised to 1 by 2? Simply speaking, what is b into b raised to 1 by 2? It is b raised to 3 by 2. Therefore, what is x square plus a square into x square plus a square all raised to 1 by 2? It should be x square plus a square whole raised to 3 by 2. This is one expression but in the calculation purpose and all we will use another expression for calculation purpose we are using another expression that is the approximation that we are doing is x in this case practically it will be very large when compared to a comparing a and x x is very large compared to a by the definition of dipole itself it is clear that two equal and opposite charges separated by a very small distance if it is separated by a very small distance the two a distance will be very small and x will be very large therefore if x is very large when compared to a we could write x square plus a square is approximately equal to x square therefore x square plus a square whole raised to 3 by 2 it will be approximately equal to x square raised to 3 by 2 x square raised to 3 by 2 x square plus a square whole raised to 3 by 2 will be approximately equal to x square raised to 3 by 2 and that is equal to x cube that means we could write e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by x square plus a square all raised to 3 by 2 can be replaced as x cube and this is e equatorial thus we have derived the expression for e equatorial also the expression for e equatorial will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by x cube let me write it over here e equatorial is instead of this 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 we could use k into p by x cube can you recall the expression for e axial we have derived it in our previous session it was k into 2p by x cube then is there any relation between e axial and e equatorial yes the relation between e axial and e equatorial is e axial is equal to e equatorial thus now we know how we are finding out the electric field in density at the equatorial line of a dipole and what's the relation between e axial and e equatorial hope you have understood this Please subscribe my channel and if you have understood this session, please like this video also.